everybody, this is Scotty with Sketches Garage, and today we're going to have a quick chat about Pro Street Cars. Um, I was at the drag strip this weekend, and this guy had a beautiful 65 Mustang, and he kept on having a problem. He said he had it for about a year, and uh, within the first three months, he had a problem in this area right here. All the paint had flaked off of it on both sides. He thought that maybe just the person who did the body work before did a bad job, so he had it repainted. And it lasted about three months, and it did the same thing again. So I kind of took a look at his car, and I'll show you what he had going on. Uh, anytime you uh, plan on buying a Pro Street or building the Pro Street to drive on the street regularly, uh, you got to build it just a little bit different than the way most people go about doing it. The main thing is, is you got to make sure you take your wheel tub and tie it into the quarter panel. I know that sounds like common sense, but most of the time when a car is tubbed, people will just take the wheel tub and run it directly over to the quarter panel and just seam seal it. Well, that's that'll work out for you if you're drag racing, but when you start driving it on the street a lot, it puts a lot of pressure on the quarter panel and causes a lot of flex and then it ends up popping popping body work that's in that area right there and a lot of times right there at the quarter quarter window it'll cause the quarter to fatigue and crack so to make sure make sure it's got an inner panel piece that's tied into the quarter panel wheel arch uh, something else I've seen is I've seen people run the wheel tub directly over to the quarter panel and then weld it to the quarter panel. That too will cause the body filler to, to pop and flake because it'll pull on that area and pop it off every single time. The, the same rings true for the trunk drop offs. Another common practice is just to run the trunk directly over to the quarter panel and call it good. And then that leaves this, and that leaves this hanging in the wind. You just wanna make sure you got that tied into your floor pan. Uh, that brings us to this area here. Uh, the guys who back half this, they did a pretty good job. They they put a bar all the way across the back to help support all the weight, weight of the vehicle. And then when I did the sheet metal work, I tied into this bar and then I tied into the, the sheet metal on the tail pan of the car. Um, usually, you'll just see these two have two bars come back and tied to the sheet metal. That'll work too, just make sure that the, the trunk pan is tied in good to the rear tail pan. And then this area over here is tied in real good. Another area that's often overlooked is in the trunk. You wanna make sure you got your wheel tub tied in to the, the filler panel across the trunk. Because if not, you know, you've got a five foot span that don't have no support. So make sure that's tied in as well. I uh, hope this hope helps you guys out a little bit. Maybe you got a car now that's doing that. You can slide up underneath it, take a look, and you'll be able to remedy the problem. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody.